five, five years ago, I remember sitting in a similar living room, similar house, mm -hmm. um, just terrified. <laughs> dreaming. Like full of faith, yeah. we're dreaming, and we try to you know, have all this strategy <laughs> and everything, but uh, I think at the end of the day, yeah. the goal was let's just listen to Jesus, stay yeah. as close to him as possible. And obey. And obey. Uh, and, and, then, and then God has, has, has gone before us and, and really done incredible things. It's unbelievable. I think it's so amazing to see, to look back and then to see where we're at and then everything in between. What do you think is like the most surprising thing of the, over the last five years? Yeah, I don't think necessarily the growth. Mm -hmm. um, I, th I thought we'd grow. I think obviously Hobby Lobby donating the building is a huge <laughs> part of our story. Right? An unbelievable blessing. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the thing that's been the most surprising is just the quality of people that God continues us in the sure. way. I have a unique perspective getting to, to lead worship from the stage and, and look into the faces that are in the audience every single week. And you know, you, you see people for the first time and then you see them again and you see them again and you kind of see the evolution of their, their walk with Christ and like watching them worship through moments of, of desperation that you know they're going through, you know, whatever it might be in their life, but watching them worship through it. This has been cool, I think, that from from the very beginning, he has sent people, uh, maybe because he, he knows we can't do it, um, but he said, I'm just gonna send <laughs> you. And literally, every, almost every week, it's yeah. just incredible people that have said, we're not just gonna be consumers, but we wanna contribute, we wanna be a part of what yeah. God is doing here. And so that's been that's been incredible, and I love to, to watch and to celebrate those stories. Mm -hmm. Just kind of threw out what are some of your thoughts, emotions, feelings from, from the time we first came and said, let's 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 redo this thing. Here we go again. <laughs> yes. Explain that. What do you mean by that? I mean, like you said, we've been through so many transitions, and it's like, well, here's another one. What are some of uh, some of your favorite memories uh, over the last the last five years? I think a lot of people see. 2017 or 2016, and they think, oh, that's probably how it's always been. Um, but you guys have such a different perspective. So, what what are some things that may stand out to you guys that may not necessarily stand out to somebody that's that's newer? For me, you guys, you always say, you know, prayers is the foundation of everything we do. And I remember vividly standing right over there and you, you know, calling me out in front of everybody. I just got diagnosed, so I was start treatment. You need to pray for healing. And everybody came around and touched me and started praying. And, you know, not long after, you know, let's say you're completely cancer free still in today, but you know, when people say prayer is the foundation of everything we do, you know, it's when you experience it, it's when you really know. So you guys have seen a pretty cool ride for the last five years. Um, what do you guys see as, as something that's next for the Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you guys were with us from the very first Sunday, mm -hmm. um, and then months later you gave your life to Christ. So kind of talk about your journey in, in, in accepting Christ and getting baptized. I was, uh, of course, growing up Luther, and I was baptized when I was two months old on Christmas, so don't remember any of that. <laughs> sure. And, right. you know, didn't have, my part wasn't in it. I were just, <laughs> here you sure. go. Um, <laughs> my life was pretty, pretty wild and reckless, mm -hmm. and... Um, <laughs> On September 22nd, 2013, we both were baptized here in this building together, mm -hmm. right there. And, right there. Uh, right exactly Pretty there. Cool. And uh, just a moment of the day I'll never forget. Mm -hmm. uh, just truly blessed to be where we're at now, to I where we really were. It. Just amazing. Uh, why was it important for you guys to jump in and, and say, we don't just want to attend, we're going to be a part of what God's doing here? Well, for me, 
meeting people too, mm -hmm. you know, just building relationships because that's kind of where we, we needed Christian relationships sure. and people sure. to hold us accountable. I just, I love it. Yeah. I love the people because I volunteer in the check-in, so I get mm -hmm. to meet so many people that I don't feel like I would meet. My main reason to do it was just to know, get to know people. Mm -hmm. um, and because if you go to, if you're brand new to this church, the best thing you can do is get involved. Yeah. I mean, because you're, that's how you meet people. Mm -hmm. So you guys have been attending our church since uh, 2014. Uh, today we're celebrating uh, five years since we relaunched this this church. So we've seen God do a lot of amazing things. Uh, if you're just going to talk to the church family, what, what would you want to say to our church family? I think I would say just count your blessings um, that you found a church like ours yeah. to be a part of and just really run in and jump in feet first um, mm -hmm. and become a part of it because you will not be disappointed. This last year uh, you lost your son to a great tragedy. Mm -hmm. um, talk through what role the church family played in walking through uh, really an unimaginable time mm -hmm. in your lives. You know, um, I, number one, I don't think we would have made it through without you all, uh -huh. the church family. Um, and in fact, you know, if you could say this, we're here for a time like this. I think the family part, a victory family, says it all. Mm -hmm. You know, it says in Psalms that God sets the lonely in families. Sure. And not that we necessarily have been lonely, but... God set us in this family yeah. for this season. He knew mm -hmm. what we were going to go through before. Um, but our small group was amazing Praise during God. that time. In 2015, you guys uh, started attending Victory Family Church. What was it that brought you to our, our church family? You know, I think we're born to serve. People don't know that. But that satisfaction comes from doing yeah. and not just being. And there's such an opportunity here to do that, just whatever yeah. you're good at. Yeah. Whatever you're good at, you can do, and you're allowed to do that. Mm -hmm. And it's it's oh, it's just wonderful. Tim, so you're a huge part in men's ministry and small groups. So, kind of talk about you know, why it was <clears throat> important for you to help come alongside and mentor men, and mm -hmm. and how the, those groups, the prayer groups, and the men's groups continue to grow. God really has blessed that, and a lot of men. We've seen some wonderful things happen. A lot of men that have came that would had addictions that mm -hmm. they're finding true help through the Lord and then people that didn't even know God that mm -hmm. know him now and are leaders in our in our group mm -hmm. so it's just been a wonderful to see how God has worked through the men You guys began attending in 2016. Uh, let's just talk about how you've grown your relationship with Christ since then. Uh, one of the things I love about Victory Family Church is, is every week we come, and this is something we talk about often, is uh, we feel challenged each week. It's, it's not, uh, I don't feel like we, we attend and it's fluff and, uh, you know, it's something that, <laughs> so and, and maybe it's just me, but it's something that, uh, um, I can take with me each week and say, wow, you know, that's something that I hadn't thought of that, that I need to work on. Have to talk about maybe one or two things that maybe just in the last year and a half have just stood out to you that, man, I really like this or I love being a part of this at, at our church. We did go on the Belize mission trip this mm -hmm. year. Um, and in my heart, I would say it was my first real mission trip because it was the first time that I really experienced um, getting to know um, other believers um, mm -hmm. in our small group that we had that went 
um, getting to really witness to the people there and getting to form relationships with the people there um, was truly an incredible experience. So you guys have been attending Victory Family Church uh, just for not even here since 2017. So what was it about Victory Family Church or, or what drew you to uh, Victory Family Church? For me, I know for me it was just that everyone was just real welcoming. Uh, I didn't feel like I, would, I had to try to impress anyone or do anything. Everyone just kind of uh, welcomed me in and, and also invited me to do things. Whenever we walked in the front door, we were greeted immediately by a number of people, and I love that I saw vendors. Talk, talk about maybe some some moments uh, since you've been here that either maybe helped develop a relationship with Jesus, or just some moments like, man, this has been a fun, cool, uh, maybe a defining moment you know, since you started attending the church. I think whether people uh, say it or not, they always want to feel a part of something, and if they're not a part of something, they're striving to feel a part of it. And just walking in here and maybe been here, what, a month and a half and meeting so, so many people involved with the church and then saying, hey, if you want to come be a part of our small groups, we'd love to have you. And feeling like I belonged already and not really even being fully committed to the church may help us make a decision of this is our place of where we're supposed to be. 